Spirituality is really going beyond the limitations of mind. It's not different from going beyond the limitations of time. Because mind is time and time is mind. Let's talk about time for a minute. What is time? Has anybody touched it? Seen it? Heard it? Felt it? Time is merely an experience. And we all experience time. It is an undeniable experience. The experience of time. Let's investigate this experience of time for a bit. How do we experience time? You look at a clock and we see its hands moving and we see, oh, a minute has passed, an hour has passed. That's the first experience of time we all know. Let me ask you a question. Tomorrow, if all the clocks in the world were to stop, would we still be left with an experience of time? One might say, of course. What about day becoming night and night becoming day? That would give us a sense of time. And my response to that is, that is the result of the movement of the earth on its own axis and around the sun. So you see time again, the experience of time has its root in movement and change. Suppose the earth were to stand still and there would be no day and night, would we still have an experience of time? Of course, yes. What about the experience of my past, my present and my future? And what is that experience if not thought? It is just thought. The movement of thought creates the experience of time within ourselves. To cut the long story short, the experience of time is inextricably linked to movement and change. And if we can access that dimension within ourselves where there is absolute stillness, the experience of time simply disappears. Perhaps that is why God is called timeless, sometimes loosely called eternal. Eternal signifies a very long period of time. That's not really accurate. More accurately, God is timeless. Because in God or in that dimension within ourselves, there is simply no experience of time because there is no movement. There is only stillness and the abundance of presence here and now.